guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you back checking out what Chris and I are up to. So in today's video, I am bringing you more stools. I can't help it. I find the stools and they sell really well. So yes, let me share my ideas with you all of what I'm going to do to these four little stools. So I don't know if anybody that makes items over, that they resell them, do you do stools like this? Uh, we are very lucky that I find them, I flip them, they sell fast. So yeah, when I saw the pair of these, and now I know that this is a homemade top on the top, but I think that gives it that unique look. $5.09 a piece, great price. Then I saw this one at another Goodwill out of town. I'm like, hey, it's already black. Perfect. And this one only had a 409 price tag. Yes, I always would like to have pairs, but that's not always possible. And some, you know, the single ones sell just as well as the pairs. And I'm always a sucker for stools that have that kind of detail on the bottom because I know how beautiful it will distress and this one's a little bit more pricey at the 609 but there's still a lot of resell in it for me now the pair ones they were a little bit wobbly a little bit wonky i didn't really see a lot of gluing there is actually just a finished nail that is holding these in place so i'm going to go in with this this is a glue applicator it looks like a needle but you actually can put glue in it so i have some tight bond glue i'm going to needle that into place and then i'm just going to push down getting excess off and then walk away and let that dry and that should hold it good and tight and keep it in place and there won't be any more wobbliness would it be a thrifted item if there wasn't some mystery gunk on it so yep just taking a scraper getting whatever that is i'm gonna say that it's glue just to be on the safe and not gross outside now, Chris is tackling the worst part of this whole flipping of stool thing is sanding them. Yep, they are shiny. You want your paint to stick on them. People's feet are going to be resting on them, so you want to make sure that they're good and prepped. So, yep, plain and simply, you have to go in and hand sand those spindles. But luckily, I think I was sanding on something else using the orbital sander. So, yep, I get to orbital sander the top. Now, I definitely want to make sure that any top coat is gone on the top of these the way I want to refinish them. And then, yes, if, and some of these are a little, they've got some little dents on the side where it's kind of that chipped off. They're a type of plywood. But, yep, I like that, that they're a little bit unique that this is a handmade homemade type of piece Now that they're all scuffed sanded, the air compressor used to blow off any of that sandy dust. Now it's time to just get them cleaned, get any residue, anything that prevent the paint from sticking off, just using some super clean and some hot water. So it's so nice to be able to have a sprayer to spray the bottom of these stools. So we're using our True Coat 360 handheld sprayer by Graco. And 
And then in our sprayer is the ready to use a black onyx right off the shelf from Walmart in the flat sheen. Yep, just basic black, one coat coverage. I probably can't even count how many stools that I have done between black, white, stained. The black always are my better sellers when I put them in our booths. So yep, now we're just gonna seal them in after a dry with some polycrylic. I always wanna seal my paint in there and make sure it's there to stay. And personally, I don't know if I can get Chris to do as many stools as he's doing um, without one having the sprayer and then having that turntable system of be able to move that stool around and paint it all. I'm sure most of you watching want to know how to do the printing on tissue paper and that is really what you came for this video today. So I am going to share with you how I achieved this. So I got my images off of Etsy. I paid a little bit of money, so I always have them. But then I did a just a print onto copier paper to see where my edges were going to be, how much tissue paper I needed to cut off. Now I got the brown tissue paper from Hobby Lobby, 99 cents. You don't need very much. So yep, so we're just going to adhere it to the copier paper, which I found was, uh, you know, you have to do some trials and errors and see which technique works for you. When I researched, they just t said to tape it down. They didn't really dis I I explain what type of tape. So, yep, I just used the good old scotch tape first. Yeah, that got caught in the copier printer. Uh, yeah, that was a whole mess, so don't use that. So my next step was to, okay, let's cut another piece. Let's see how this works. So this time I just used double stick tape that I just got from the Dollar Tree store just to tape the top because I was assuming that the scotch tape, the shininess was making it go off centered inside the copier. And then with some other errors here, I'm going to go ahead and iron my tissue paper so it does not wrinkle like that. Just in case you try this at home, yes, when I ironed it and it's still hot, it looks like it changed the color, but once it cooled off, it went back to that tan color. Now, tissue paper is very rippable, so you gotta be careful when you're taping it. So all I did was very gingerly put just tape at the very top, flip it over, make sure that it was flat, and then put a couple pieces at the bottom to secure it. When I was looking at Etsy, I looked at Graphics Fairy 2, but I had a certain farmhouse theme that I was going for, and these images fit it perfectly. Once you get your confirmation that you've made your purchase through Etsy, then you download it into your computer. I have an iMac. And then when I open it up, it opens up into this page. And from this page, I don't need to do anything else. The size was perfect. All I needed to do was print it. One nice thing about taping it onto a piece of copier paper, it definitely makes it a lot easier to cut that excess tissue paper off. Now I'm gonna get rid of that fresh cut look, that sharp edge of what the scissors caused, and just take the corner of the little tip of my mouse sander and just distress the edges of that tissue paper. But you definitely have to be really careful because tissue paper is really thin, so I'm going in very, very gingerly. So now we get to adhere it to the top of these stools and look how cute it already is going to going to look. So yep, to adhere it to the top of the stools, I just, when it comes to furniture a lot, I just use the polycrylic. It's what I have in my shop. It's what works. So yep, so I'm just going to go ahead. I've got it centered, eyeballed center. I'm going to put a layer of the polycrylic down 
and then I'll put in one more layer only because I've created this wood by sanding it to be raw that it soaks in the polycrylic. So one more layer, I should have plenty that I'll be able to glue this tissue paper down and then it just <laughs> absorbs right in. I don't have to worry about any wrinkles. Now I will go back around all the edges, making sure that that edge is glued down. I did test out printing one of these off on regular white tissue paper that you get from the Dollar Tree store. Now, I didn't really think it was too much of a difference because the print itself from Etsy had a little bit of a creamish background. And then as I'm gluing it down, I don't know if you'll really be able to see too much of a difference because that background is wood. But I thought, you know, I'll give it a try and print one out on just the plain white. But the same thing, just half by half to, so that way I can keep it center gluing it onto the top of the stool. So when I'm attaching my paper, I make sure that I'm squared up to the legs of the stool. So on these handmade, homemade little stool tops, the wood grain is slightly kicked off to the one side. So really threw me off for a center there, but I'm glad that I double checked where the squareness of the base was going to be and not what the wood pattern was going to be so <laughs> yep that's just a, something i always double check so like if you're squaring it up to your island or you're squaring it up into a corner or wherever you're sitting it that the image and the legs are squared up i just need to walk away and let the polycrylic dry before moving on Now that the polycrylic's dry, I'd like to do a little bit more on the top, giving it some staining look, some aged look to it. But I need to go back in and remove some of the polycrylic that has filled in that raw wood. So I'm just going in with some sandpaper and just trying to work it off. And then I go back in with just some fine grit steel wool, making sure that this is flat, there's no raised bumps. This is a seed, people can sit on it, so I want to make sure that it's nice and flat. And then blowing off the excess sanding dust. So I'm taking just some of that plain black onyx paint that I used on the other stools to paint them. This one by chance didn't need to be painted for any reason. So I'm just going in on the edges of that paper, kind of giving it that aged, almost like I've been burnt kind of, you know, when paper on an old box has just worn off with time. That's what I want this paper to look like. And then I'll just blend in just lightly. I just have a stencil brush from the Dollar Tree store, making sure that I hopefully don't have too much paint where I did just then, but that's an easy fix. If you don't like what you have, just take some sandpaper and start sanding on it and remove some more of it to lighten it back up. After I got the onyx paint where I think that I like it, I go back in with some of the antiquing wax by Waverly and now this is really going to blend it all together. And the fun of this technique is you just keep playing with it until you love it. Now I guess I should have hand sanded a little bit more because you can kind of see where that wasn't accepting the paint. Must have been some polycrylic still left behind. So I'm just going to make that a little bit darker with the black paint.
And then I don't know why I didn't do this before, but I need to distress my edges on this little stool to tie this all in together. So I started off hand sanding it with just some sandpaper, but I'm like, oh, oh why not use my resources and use my little mouse sander because it's just a sharp edge. And I just want to show that detail of all those corners by getting it down to the wood. And now to pop those details a little bit more and tie it into that top, yep, antiquing wax. Just going to rub it all over. I really want those details to pop. I want this whole piece to match. So after I got that top and the base the way that I want it, I'm going to go ahead and seal that top in with a couple coats of a polycrylic. After my two coats of polycrylic, I go in with some steel wool, making sure that it is nice and smooth. That way that there's nothing going to catch, nothing going to tear off any of that paper, that hopefully it's there for a long time. So on my next tool, I decided that I wasn't going to try to hand sand that any of that poly garlic off. I'm going to go in very gingerly with my little mouse sander and try to work that off. That way I don't have where my paint's not being accepted into the wood this time. But I'm going to do that same shading technique on all the other three stools. So now on the bottom of this one, I'm going to go in with some 220 sandpaper. I'm just going to cup it around those spindles, letting it wear off that paint, giving it that age distress look to bring out these beautiful details. Yes, I know I've brought you plenty of stools on our channel before, but they are a easy flip. They sell quick. They're usually pretty easy. Just depends on how you want to paint them up. Adding some paper on the top of them. And I've done the decoupage by Rocycle, and that'll always be one of my favorites. But it was nice to be able to show you the tissue paper, the trials and error I went to to get to print on the tissue paper. And then downloading from Etsy. I definitely love to support small business. And yes, you definitely could have found graphics fairy or copy and pasted somewhere else to find your graphics for the top of these stools. So yeah, I just love to share different ideas with you all. So as always, please let me know which one was your favorite. And if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out our channel for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know when we've uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye.